Moving on, we here at Late Night don't always have enough time to cover all of the recent news. So here with a recap is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, in a segment we call Amber Says What? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, first of all, I heard 80-year-old actor Robert De Niro just had a child, and I was like, what? Then I heard 83-year-old Al Pacino also just had a child, and I was like, what? What old man is gonna have a toddler next? Seth? I do have a toddler. Gross! How? The normal way. Yeah. Why don't you have a child? Because I am a child. A sexy little child. <laughs> then I heard that they arrested Tupac's killer, and I was like, what is next on your to-do list? Get a warrant for John Wilkes Booth? You're late! <laughs> Why not figure out who shot JR? Oh, it was Kristen Shepard. You are so old. <laughs> I'm only five years older than you. I don't like this anymore. Ron DeSantis wears secret high-heeled boots, and I was like, what? You must hate being short more than you hate drag queens. <laughs> Speaking of drag queens, with those high heels, you are one sewing away from violating your own anti-trans bill, honey. <laughs> then I read that all of Trump's kids are testifying, and I was like, what? Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric. <laughs> all of the kids. Man, I think he might go to jail. Now, I know, I know, he may be rich, he may be old, and he may be a white man, but oops, never mind, he will never go to jail. <laughs> He'll probably just do what all the other old guys are doing, have a baby, which I believe to be a prison in its own right. <laughs> okay, so then I heard In Vogue is gonna be in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> I was like, what? And I have to say this, please, NBC, Corporate daddy, you have to let me in to see that. Oh, Seth, do you have tickets to the parade? No. Then what is the point of you? Why are we doing this? What is any of this for if it's not gonna help us see in Vogue? Then Britney Spears released her memoir, The Woman in Me, and spilled the tea on Justin Timberlake, and I was like, what? It's like, a lot, and I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about what she said, but let's just say this. <laughs> now, do you want to hear some more gossip? Okay, so Congressman George Santos was running around his job with a baby, and I was like, what? When asked if the baby was his, he said, not yet. Which brings us to a segment called Amber Says Why. <laughs> now, George Santos said this baby wasn't his yet. Why? <laughs> yet, is that a threat? And if so, to who? To me? America? Whoever's baby that is? What? Whose baby is that and why? Why the baby, George? Why did they give their baby to you? Did you trick somebody and steal their baby? Where did you get that baby from? Does it want to go back? Did you ever give the baby back? Why the baby, George? For what reason? What purpose was the baby supposed to serve? And did it serve that purpose? And why does that baby look more qualified to work in Congress than you? <laughs> this has been Amber Says Why. Beyonce's Renaissance tour made $579 million. It made, me too, man. It made so much money, it literally boosted the economy everywhere it went. I read that and I was like, because I'm not about to mess up the Beyonce mute challenge. Mm -mm. Then I saw that Beyonce went to the premiere of Taylor Swift's new movie, and I was like, what? Beyonce's not at a Taylor Swift premiere. A Taylor Swift premiere is at a Beyonce. <laughs> and I can't even imagine what Beyonce at a movie theater looks like. Walking up to the concession stand like, I will have the sugar babies and a bottle of Cristal. <laughs> then, <laughs> it, it came out so much worse. <laughs> 
a million bed bugs in Paris. And I was like, Gua? <laughs> then I found out Usher was doing the Super Bowl halftime show. And I was like, what? <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to cook him a real big breakfast that morning. <laughs> Not because I'm sleeping with him, but because I had to take on an extra job as Usher's cook because the writer's strike lasted five months. <laughs> Then I found out the actors were still striking, and I was like, what? Matter of fact, Seth, how am I allowed to be doing this right now? Well, uh, late night television shows fall under a specific. Ah, oh, shut up! <laughs> then I heard that genetic testing company, 23andMe, was hacked, and I was like, what were you thinking when you gave away all your genetic information to some random company? <laughs> See, that's why I never did 23andMe. Well, that and in case I ever want to do a murder, I want to get away with it. <laughs> then I heard Congresswoman Lauren Boebert got kicked out of the musical Beetlejuice for getting felt up by some guy. And I was like, what? Beetlejuice? More like some like it hot. <laughs> some like it hot, co-written by Amber Ruffin, now on Broadway at the Schubert Theater. <laughs> Boebert! Why would you guys stay in your seats for that? At least escape to the bathroom and pretend you're taking a whiz. <laughs> the Whiz, written by Amber Ruffin. <laughs> Touring America and coming to Broadway March 29th. Tickets available at whizmusical.com. Hey, Amber, why do you keep interrupting this bit to plug all your Broadway musicals? Because the strike too, took too long and I gotta make money to take care of this baby. <laughs> Amber? Is that your baby? Not yet. <laughs> this man, Amber says what?